good morning everybody welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another quarantine vlog today is an exciting day for me because it's one of the rare days where i leave the house and whoever thought that you would get excited over going to get groceries so i figured i would whip the camera out and kind of take you guys along with me um i'm probably not going to be able to film in the grocery store just because they don't even allow phones like you'd have your grocery list on your phone at my grocery store right now but i'm going to show you guys what i get kind of like how i've been staying healthy in quarantine and then just take you guys along with my day. I let you guys hang out with me because your girl's bored. Justin's an essential worker, so he goes to work every day. I'm literally here all day by myself, so why not hang out with you guys because I love you guys. So as you guys know, I am on my weight loss journey. So one thing that I do, um, I've been cooking all of my meals from scratch every night. I haven't been meal prepping. I have been meal prepping my lunches. So today when we get home, because it's the morning, it'll probably be around lunchtime. So we'll meal prep my lunches for the week and I'll do that with you. But what I do is every week, usually just on a Sunday, so my bad, I'm a little late. It's Monday today, but I sit down and I go through all the meals that I want to cook that week. I make kind of like a list Monday through Friday. For me, having all the stuff in the fridge and having set meals planned out means there's no guesswork like it's not Thursday and I'm like oh like what are we gonna have at 4 p.m. like I already know what we're having so it kind of makes it easier for me and it also really helps us to stay on budget we budget our groceries so this way we're not buying like duplicates of things our fresh produce isn't going bad and rotten in the fridge and then we're rebuying it's just a lot more intentional and a really good money saving way so I really encourage you guys to make your shopping list so that's what I'm gonna do right now <laughs> when you forget the list that you just spent time making. So you have to run back in and get it. Nice one, Amy, you only had one job. BRB. You turn the car off too, it might be helpful. Okay, and we're back, we got it. Does anyone else do that? Like, how do I miss mistake? How do I leave the most important thing? We're going grocery shopping, yet I bring everything else, honestly. The grocery store is really close to my house. I wish it was a little further because my baby, my car now is like a year old. I still love driving her, but since March, like the girls, I'm out of breath. Sorry, I just ran. Whew. And I thought I was getting fitter, but basically the grocery store is a two minute drive. I really just enjoy driving this car in general, especially now the weather's nice so I could have the sunroof open and listen to music. I don't know. Does anyone else just like to drive around and listen to music? Because that's one of my favorite things when I'm going somewhere. So you guys, they recently just started opening up like uh, stores that have a curbside entrance. They did that today in my city or tomorrow. I think they're doing it. And I'm still like, everyone is so excited to go out and go to these stores. I see people in my city be like oh now we can go to the bar i'm like girl i have been home for two weeks already like what is staying i mean two weeks two months already like i am in no rush to be going outside and mixing and congregating in like heavily populated areas because i feel like that's just gonna start a second wave of this stuff and i would rather be safe rather than sorry so we will still be staying in and quarantining until i just want to see i mean everyone else can test the outside and test the air and see how it is and then once it's safe to go outside for sure i will go so obviously things like our wedding have been impacted i will have an update on that for you guys soon actually when i get home we have our engagement shoot scheduled for june 1st i don't even know if we'll be able to do it but it is kind of a socially distanced thing so if things are opening up our photographer will be able to shoot us and so i want to order i need to order a couple of outfits i ordered justin his outfit but i need to order two like dresses for me just that are going to fit my new body because while yes i have lost weight which i'll have an update video on that too i don't know how much i just know i've lost some inches I still um like I just haven't bought any new clothes that flatter this new body type and I don't want to stuff myself into although my old size four is fit I don't want to stuff myself into my old clothes and look uncomfortable and look like I'm a sausage like a muffin top basically in all of my engagement photos which are going to be used at our wedding and they're what they're going to be beautiful photos that I want to look at uh, like for the rest of my life so despite not being at my right body type I still want to get clothes that like a nice dress God, Amy, get it together. I still want to get a nice dress or something that flatters my body now and that makes the most of what I am at this time because I really want those pictures to be nice. So we'll take a little look. See, I think I'm going to look on Revolve when I get home. Lady, are you kidding me? Like, when people in coronavirus times just act like insane, like, I got such bad room. Oh my God. The lineup at the store though. This lineup, the lineup at the store is like wrapping around. This is not what I signed up for. 
rearrange our fridge and throw some things out but I've just wiped down everything so let's start got our green onions I love these I use these in salads I use these on Asian food all the time I got some sliced butternut squash because your girl has no time or energy to well I do have the time hello it's coronavirus I have the no I have the want sorry to cut up butternut squash myself some fresh basil although we do have a basil plant growing and some fresh rosemary i use these two herbs fresh herbs all the time in cooking some garlic because what is a meal without a ton of garlic i don't want it um i also got my favorite fruits so my favorite fruits are bananas i got some not too many because i like to buy them when they're green i got two things of ontario strawberries you guys oh my god if you live in canada ontario and you can have the chance at president's choice to buy the ontario strawberries don't sleep these are the best tasting strawberries i've ever had in my life so this trip i only had to buy two kinds of meat ground beef because we were all out of it I'm also a psycho and keep my meat in separate bags like this just in case any meat just gets anywhere. And then I got my favorite steaks. These are um, filet mignon steaks. Okay, here's one of the fun purchases I was talking about. This was like $8, but these are some vegan or vegetarian rather uh, meatless breakfast sausages by the brand Hillary. I tried these Gardein spicy ones and they were good, but my mom and my sisters told me that these ones have better ingredients in them, so I wanted to try them. We always usually every week buy a big thick top of Roma tomatoes. These are used for everything from making our own bruschetta and salsa to having in our suppers to just eating alone we love these and we always finish them and then we also buy cherry grape tomatoes honestly you don't need both but we like to have the grape cherry tomatoes in our salads and we will be having a salad this week four packs of cucumbers i was so excited this was like three dollars and usually one cucumber is like two dollars so i was like hell yes a big thing of cucumbers cauliflower is another thing that i love i make like cauliflower fries so i bake them and roast them and then sometimes put a little few breadcrumbs on them and then a lot of times I use cauliflower, roasted cauliflower in my lunches. Parsley, because your girl loves parsley. You guys are going to see in a bunch of recipes that I have in my upcoming food diaries that parsley is life. Avocados, because are you really an influencer if you didn't buy avocados? Blue cheese crumbles for our salad this week. Justin doesn't like this, but we're having like a bacon cob salad and blue cheese makes a cob salad in my opinion. Don't at me. Half and half cream because I am making a pasta dish this week and it calls for heavy whipping cream, but I always substitute for half and half because, you know, calories. I also bought a big batch of spinach. This is just spinach to throw in um, pasta, smoothies, anything like that. And then a tub of spring mix salad because we'll be having salad this week and your girl loves salad anyway, so always good to have on hand. Oh, I got these pita breads here. These I use to make my own croutons for my lunchtime salads and just for salads in general. I will brush them with some olive oil and then different herbs, spices, and probably garlic and then bake them. Oh, a few more things. I got some chickpeas because I've been eating chickpea salads like a crazy person. I also got um, some natural peanut butter and sea salt. So I have the normal regular peanut butters, but when I make my energy balls, I like to use natural peanut butter. Um, some mayonnaise. This was on sale. It's usually like six bucks. So I got it because it was three bucks and we're half done our other one. And then some whole kernel crisp corn because I'm going to put this in our salad too. And I think that's it. Yeah, that's all our groceries that we got for $99. I forgot one thing and it's one of my favorite snacks lately. It is these original rice cakes. I used to think rice cakes were the most disgusting thing ever and I was like oh how could people eat these like they're just like kidding themselves but putting like a little bit of like vegan Nutella so I use Nativa which is a chocolate hazelnut spread or a little bit of the peanut butter on here with some strawberries mm, the best sweet snack ever or sometimes I put some hummus and then some tomatoes or some bruschetta on these these are like my cracker alternative don't sleep on rice crackers they're everything do you guys want like a rice crackers five ways video because i can show you guys how i dress my rice crackers up and they're anything but boring so i mentioned about budgeting so justin and i are two people and then when we have aiden his son then we're three so as a general rule of thumb we budget a hundred dollars a week for groceries but a lot of people will say that um eating healthy is expensive but i want to let you guys know that it really does not have to be an expensive thing you really plan out your meals like we have been doing and shop around it really doesn't have to be 
that expensive and I think we really got a ton of stuff. So I was getting a little hot so I decided to just put my hair in some clips but I'm gonna make my lunch uh, right now. What I have been blah, 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 blah. what I have been doing is I've been meal prepping my lunches and I usually make a vegetarian lunch so I've been keeping my mornings lower calorie vegetarian and doing some kind of a salad. Today I'm gonna make a chickpea salad because your girl's craving one. So I figured I would show you guys how I'm gonna make it. So you're gonna wanna take a can of chickpeas and add these into a strainer sieve and run it under cold water for about three minutes. You really wanna make sure they're nicely rinsed. And once they're rinsed out, you're gonna put that into a bowl along with a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. I'm then gonna season it up with some garlic powder. You could also use fresh garlic too but I'm just using the dried version. And then I'm also going in with onion powder and oregano. I choose to use the dried version of these herbs just because we will be roasting these chickpeas. And so sometimes garlic and herbs can burn pretty quickly. I'm then gonna mix everything together until it's nicely coated and then arrange it on a parchment lined baking sheet. I kind of like to make sure that everything is not touching if possible and spread it out nicely before roasting these in the oven at 425 degrees. I'm also going to cut up some cauliflower florets into some pretty decent sized chunks. Cauliflower will shrink when you roast it, so I make sure it's a little bit bigger. Once I have that chopped, I'm going to add that again into our same bowl. I'm going to add in a tablespoon of, no, I'm not. I'm taking two cloves of garlic, sorry, fresh garlic and crushing this up. I'm then taking one tablespoon of olive oil. And I'm also going to do a little bit of salt and pepper on this as well. And then we're going to mix that all up together. Once it's mixed, add it also to a parchment lined baking sheet. I use a separate one and I add it to half because we are also going to go ahead and chop some zucchini up as well. Um, zucchini roasts really well, but because it has a very high water content, I like to go ahead and do this next step here, which is press my zucchini with a paper towel to take away as much of the moisture as possible. Once you've taken away the moisture, add it along to our bowl. I'm not gonna add any more oil or seasonings to this because you still have remnants in there. I'm just gonna give it a nice mix around. And then I'm also gonna take some halloumi cheese. This one is the herb and garlic and cut a few pieces of fat. I have a really bad habit of leaving all the doors open when I cook. Justin says that there's a ghost in the house, but right now our veggies are roasting while our cauliflower and our chickpeas are roasting. Those take 30 minutes. When it gets to the halfway point, I'm gonna go ahead and stir the chickpeas and then I'll put on the zucchini and the halloumi for the last 10 to 15 minutes. And then I'm just gonna mix everything together and eat it. But I did, I couldn't wait. I haven't eaten yet today. So I'm gonna make my little snacker doodle. I just made me a rice cake with some peanut butter and some strawberries. Mm, such a good combination. So here's my lunch. So I'm gonna go ahead and divide this into Tupperwares for the rest of the week. Um, I make this from Monday through Friday and then Saturday and Sunday I'll have something else. And then here's our bowl. So today I decided to top it with some halloumi. Other days I might decide to do feta cheese. Other days I might decide I don't want cheese at all. So I didn't put cheese in the big bowl. And I'm just gonna top this with some cucumber tzatziki that I just made and then go ahead and let's eat lunch. I'm so hungry. So like I said, I've just been doing some online shopping and here are some of the options that I am looking at for our engagement shoot outfits. I love these dresses right here. Love this here with the print. I'm really kind of going for something neutral, but maybe with like a little print and pop of color. Honestly, making wedding planning a little bit more fun again, because obviously things kind of took a pause. Excuse me, my dish soap, and my water over here. Um, obviously things have kind of taken a pause on the wedding planning front, but this is something that we are super excited to do our engagement shoot. So for me personally, I'm looking for something that flatters my body, but also something that has a little bit of movement to it. Um, I see a lot of girls do like the whole maxi dress thing and maxi dresses just aren't really my style. I do prefer a mini dress, but I'm kind of looking for ones with flounce hem so that if I'm twirling or moving, you know, it can give some of that beautiful movement in pictures. I did actually purchase three items, but I don't want to tell you guys which ones they are yet. But definitely when they get here, we'll be doing a haul and when we do our engagement shoot and I know and I have a confirmed date for that, like a new confirmed date, you guys will be coming along on that day. But right now I'm just actually looking at this book our photographer gave us like how gorgeous is this when you book with my photographer this is what all brides get let me show you guys don't need to see my face so it's a whole magazine she created with her beautiful um pictures this is our photographer stephanie mason if you guys are in our area but so first of all her pictures are all insane we wanted that light and airy vibe that's really romantic but look at all these topics so you have everything from your timeline preparing your groom there's a section on engagement photos 
Like, hello, is that not the most gorgeous engagement photo ever? We also have to pick our location. So I've just been really looking through this section for like outfit inspo, color palettes, some of the locations. Like, I mean, does this not look like a magazine photo? I cannot wait to have her shoot our wedding. Okay, it feels like I haven't talked to you guys in a little while. So in the spirit of this video being about all the things that I am buying right now, which I know, honestly, it looks like I've been doing a lot of purchasing in quarantine, but literally these are like the only things I've really bought during this whole time. I kind of had like a mini freak out, but I wanted to show you guys the things that I picked up from the recent Sephora VIP haul. My package literally came on Friday and I left it to sit because I haven't been opening my packages for a few days to let the droplets of potential coronavirus, I know. So anyway, when I opened my package up today, I was like I gotta show them what I got I put a bunch of the makeup on my face too this morning so I can talk to you guys about it but this is literally like who am I this is literally the biggest makeup haul that I have done in years I don't remember when I have last bought like this many makeup products and to some of you guys it might not be a lot but coming from your girl if you guys look back on my channel way back when I was doing Sephora hauls bi-weekly we i was just go i like might as well have invested in sephora stock at the rate that i was doing sephora haul the first thing i picked up was another one of my luminous silk foundations from giorgio armani i had been recently wearing it and i was loving how flawless it made my skin look but i had ran out so i was like i need it because all my other foundations weren't cutting it this is in the shade 5.75 and it's a perfect match for me especially right now like I haven't had sun in like over a year basically I like something that has a little bit of dewiness to it but I also like coverage and I find that this gives me both of those things it's got that really nice smoothing really good coverage it really takes away any imperfections but it's not a hundred percent matte it still looks like skin on your skin and it just glides on beautifully while covering any imperfections then I was really in the market for a new under eye concealer you guys saw in my last uh, vlog video I had been using the Fenty but that was just like I don't know I find under my eyes I didn't even think I had really dry under eyes but it creased a lot and it looked really drying so I needed something more hydrating and then I saw that Giorgio Armani has the luminous silk multi-purpose glow concealer so I was like uh -huh, add to cart actually I wasn't like uh -huh, add to cart because the foundation is expensive enough on its own I was like uh, should I should yeah let's do it that was more what it was like I got this in the shade 5 it was really hard to find swatches of this online and this one isn't as yellow as I would like it to be but I do like my under eye concealer to be lighter but I am wearing it under my eyes today and I think it looks really good it doesn't look too stark and ghostly kind of how sometimes if you do that lighter under eye it can look a little bit like ah, like you shoved your face in something light but I will say it's not the most full coverage like the Fenty Beauty is like coverage like bam like you put on a little bit and it's like whoo whole under eye covered this is more of a buildable coverage which I do I guess like but I just felt like I had to layer on more product to get the coverage that I wanted and then everything else you guys is from Charlotte Tilbury OMG I've literally wanted to try her brand for the longest time first thing I tried was the Charlotte Tilbury Charlotte's Magic Cream this is one of her signature Hallmark products and I couldn't get the full size I could only get this travel size version if you guys have watched any of ah oh, can't be wasting any of this expensive ass cream if you guys have watched any of Charlotte's makeup tutorials on her Instagram or on her YouTube channel she always goes in with magic cream first one thing that I love about her makeup looks are that they're very dewy they're all about that dewy natural skin look that I love it's like effortless like no makeup makeup but glam glowy summertime girl <laughs> I haven't done a makeup haul in a while but basically this cream whenever she puts it on people's skin that's the first step it gives the most insane glow and then the makeup goes on top beautifully so it does have kind of like a perfumey like a granny scent which I'm not the biggest fan of but I used it today and I do really like it like as soon as I put it on I did notice that my skin had that kind of glow it was like a tall drink of water also her Instagram sold me on this product too this is the pillow talk instant eye palette who am I buying eyeshadow when I don't even really wear eyeshadow that much anymore? But these eyeshadows are like the perfect neutrals but with rose shades. The pillow talk look that she does is like my favorite. It's very effortless. It's got like a lot of shimmer and glow but it's still very chic and pretty. So yeah, I basically just wanted to try this out for myself. So you have a ton of gorgeous shades. You got a bunch of really nice crease shades. Nothing is too dark and too smoky but you can just create a really nice blown out eye with some gorgeous shimmer. I also got one of her Glowgasm Beauty Wand Highlighters. The one that I got is in the shade Peach Gasm. It looks like this. Really, really nice. It's a little bit darker than I expected, so I can't use too much of it right now because I don't have a tan. But I did use it today as a base for my highlighter. And the glow, I mean, 
the glow is insane, right? We really like the glow. I also really like the product. It's very, very creamy. Although it doesn't feel like there's that much product in here. Another one product I got is her Hollywood Contour Wand. This is an easy cream contour in the shade number two, I think. So again, this doesn't come in very many shades. It's the same kind of packaging. But if you can look, mine looks pretty much empty. Like it there's a lot of air in mine, so I don't think it's all the way full, which kind of pissed me off, but not anything I can do. I use this today, so this is the shade medium two. It's super, super creamy and emollient, you guys. Like, that glides on like butter. So how I use this was underneath my contour. I used it to contour my jawline and around my hairline. And honestly, I think my contour looks really snatched today. Like, when I put it on, it made a really big difference. I did go over the top with bronzer, but I really, really love this product. I also got one of her Lip Cheat lip liners. Um, I got this one in the shade Pill Talk as well. Uh, this is like her most famous universal nude pink shade. So I was like, okay, let's go with something easy. Honestly, it's an okay lip liner. I don't think it's worth the price, but I got it to pair with the lipsticks just because they come as a set. Honestly, I would save your money because they're marketed as being the most creamy, dreamy things. And for me, the payoff wasn't that much. And I didn't find them as creamy as my $6 ColourPop lip liners, which are my all-time favorite lip liners. I got two of her lipsticks. These are the Matte Revolution lipsticks. The one I'm wearing today is in Pillow Talk Medium, and I am obsessed with this shade. Like, it hit it out the park. This truly is a universally flattering color, and how cute is the lipstick tube? I've seen it on Bare People all the way to Darker People. This is actually the product that inspired this whole haul in the first place, because I saw a look with this lipstick, and I was like, I need this look on my face. Transplant, please. There also is a matching lip liner to that, which I might get just because, <laughs> but the lip liners aren't that good. So someone tell me I don't need it. I also got the same Matte Revolution lipstick in the shade Pillow Talk. So this one is the original Pillow Talk. It's more of a lighter nude shade than the one that I'm wearing today. I'll swatch it for you guys. But again, really flattering. I just wanted to have the option of, sometimes I like to do a more bold lip like the one I have today, but then sometimes I do like a more true nude. It really depends in the summertime. And the last thing I got was a mascara by her because everyone was raving about this this is the legendary lashes mascara volume 2 it has a cute wand I haven't used it yet so I don't want to open it but when I do use it I will let you guys know what I think and that ladies and gentlemen is how you spend exactly too much money at sephora.com even with a 15% discount so yeah you guys that is it I think I'm gonna go for a drive and so I might as well end this vlog here I might actually make some protein bars when I come back some chocolate protein bars because I'm craving chocolate I just started my period and weight loss and chocolate so we might do that but if I don't come back this will be the end of the video but if you do see me back here we'll be making some chocolate protein bars I don't know if I don't see you guys thank you guys so much for watching